So the reason we're doing this DIY and eight project today, you can see how I keep the side of my um, sink. I don't have a shelf, so I have some stuff hanging out up here, all sorts of junk down here. So we're gonna put a shelf in somewhere in this neighborhood, maybe here, maybe up here, uh, to give me some space to put some stuff. Measurements so far, I've got about 27 inches up to 34, 35 inches um, to go across the bathroom shelf. And then I have as much room as I need, um, you know, height wise, but these uh, brackets we're going to use, uh, you can buy these at Home Depot. Um, they're actually about 10 inches long, but I'm going to go ahead and plan for 11 inches. So I know I need a piece of wood that it's, is at least 27 inches wide and 11 inches, or 11 inches wide, 27 inches long. And probably I'm going to do a half inch thick piece of wood or something like that. Um, so that's my plan today. Simple project should be pretty easy. We'll need a stud finder to make sure I can try and anchor into studs or I'll need to use some, uh, some drywall anchors if I prefer to do that. Um, so we'll use that when we get up in the bathroom. So anyway, uh, DIY Nate project underway here. And this is also a, uh, a COVID-19 special. Got a little extra time to work on projects. So uh, we're getting after this one because I definitely need to clear off some space on my counter. Thanks for watching. Talk so to you we soon. found a piece of wood that actually is a part of an old desk. Uh, that actually is pretty nice, um, kind of nice wood. So I look forward to cutting this up. I'm actually gonna use a table saw over here. Got a handful of kids helping me out today. Um, we're gonna use that table saw, run it across the top, and then we'll end up using our miter saw to bevel the edges a bit. And that should get us a nice, uh, a nice shelf. Um, and then I'll have to do some spray paint on the metal brackets to make it look, look overall pretty good. So that's what we're gonna do. There's actually a couple um, screws in this piece of wood. So I'm using my Ryobi driver to pop these screws out pretty quick. So we'll just take that out. Essentially, we're, what we're doing here, we're reclaiming some wood, you know, trying to reuse something that's been used before. And this will make, you know, this was a nice desk at one point, but somebody got rid of the desk. And so now we're left with the pieces of wood that use it that we can use to kind of repurpose it for yourself. I'm a big fan of trying to reuse stuff. Even if you don't reuse it, still can make good firewood. <laughs> so, um, you know, anything you can avoid throwing in a landfill, uh, especially if you can make it a cool uh, cool feature to your house. Um, these actually, these little uh, stilts could, could also be part of the shelf if we decided to use them. Um, but for now, we're just gonna use the uh, the underlying thing we got some screws as well that we can throw in our screw bucket and put that around for uh repurposing for a future project as well so with that we'll take it over to the table saw so we're going to use the table saw here we're going to take actually an inch off i already drew some lines but we're going to actually take an inch off on this side because i realize there's some rough wood on the other side so we're going to do that first and then we'll measure again so here we go So we're measuring again 27 inches make sure we got a good mark here 27 Go to the middle make sure we get 27 inches here and then to the end. not going for perfection with this job it'll be pretty much directionally right okay so now we're gonna draw our straight edge line with our level and down to the 27 inch mark the outside edge here. We're going to leave all this stuff off because there's some choppy wood on this side as well. And we'll come across. We'll just make ourselves a nice clean mark. And we're ready to roll. So, using a little wood shock here to push this thing through as we get fired up. And we're going to go ahead and take off that last few inches.
so now we got our shelf ready to go 27 inches now we just need to take it off to we're gonna make it a foot or maybe a little bit longer than a foot maybe 13 14 inches and now we need at least 12 because the way the uh uh because the way the brackets are but we could probably go a little bit longer 12 looks like 12 inches is a pretty good size shelf okay so now we're gonna do 12 inches uh we're gonna make this thing a foot so we can see we've got the one side here that's got the uh, the cutout. So we're gonna make sure we use this side up top for the the best part of the wood. 12 inches up here. Come across the middle, like a mark in the middle. Again, I'm using Sharpie. Good carpenters, good handymen probably use a pencil, but I am lazy today and Sharpie shows up nicely on this type of wood, so Sharpie it is. And then we're going to come with our level. Our straight edge is not quite long enough. So I'm actually going to grab. Nope, still not long enough. I have to make my straight edge from point A to point B and then B to C. Just to keep things moving here. So we're going to hold it. Hold it steady. Draw our straight edge line. We're pretty good there. Connect the dots here on this side. Again, this is less important because we're going to use a table saw that kind of keeps things straight to begin with so we're good to go now we're ready to make our next cut this one's a longer cut so uh, a little more uh, bracing needed on the back end i'm going to use this little uh this little um wooden contraption my dad made uh, kind of to catch the uh the wood as it runs through the end all right so now we get it set to the 12 inch mark uh you can even see on the table saw yep we're set for 12 we have a, a smooth edge so that uh that'll actually look really nice as we think about setting this uh this up on our shelf it will have this nice look to it on the edge uh at least on the front edge we'll use a little bit of stain to cover this and we'll do some stain on this side but all in all that's going to make a nice a very nice shelf at the 12 inch by 27 inch mark the other thing we're going to do is we're going to bevel the edges um i haven't exactly decided how i want to do this but i think i want to I want to trim a little bit on the edge to kind of give it a little bit of style um, so and also to kind of take away some of that sharp corner um, we're going to try and trim off a little bit on each of the sides might be a little overkill for this project but um, I might as well use my miter saw while I got it okay so I've got my Ryobi miter saw here and I'm actually going to take it I've taken the uh, little uh, locking mechanism out of the back here and I'm going to set this to a Okay, for starters, we're going to test it with a piece of wood just to make sure the, uh, the marks look right and everything looks okay. So I'm going to come in here with this guy, and this is kind of how we'll be doing it. So as you can see, that gives us a pretty nice angle. It's not too sharp of an angle, but it gives us a nice little um, edge there. So... I kind of like that from a shelf perspective. It looks a little more uh, clean than, a, than a, just a straight up raw cut. So we're going to get the shelf now that we brought over here. And I've got the laser set too, so I can really see what's happening um, as I do this. So we know the top side, got to pay attention to this because the top side, uh, we want this edge to face outward. Yeah. All right, so we've got it set. Um, should give me just about the right cut here. All right, here we go. Now you can see we got a nice angle for the shelf here. So that's gonna make a nice edge on that side. And then we just need to do the same thing on this side. And this side should be the same. Make sure you come at the right, the right angle, the right edge, so that you leave a little bit off. I think I might have left a little too much there. Come back. Okay, there we go. Now we got another one. 
just the gun. It's about the right size with this chop saw or this miter saw. And now you can see that looks like a pretty cool shelf. You got the edges nice and beveled there. We're not going to bevel the back since there's really nobody who's going to be looking at that. And then we're in good shape when we uh, put this thing up. So we're on to the next phase of this project. We're done with the cutting. Happy about that. Moving right along. So Avery's been helping me with this project. And um, we actually forgot to record the spray painting of the, um, the little brackets here. But we used a little piece of uh, tissue paper, a little piece of uh, paper towel to move it back and forth. We hit it with a nice coat of black paint. We'll let this dry for just a little bit before we hang the rest of the project. Uh, but that's kind of how you get it to have a nice look. So that black should, should offset very nicely with the, uh, the brown shelf that we've got. We're also going to grab some stain to stain the edges. Stain here. I've got some mahogany stain pulled out. It's probably about 20 years old, it sounds like. <laughs> We're gonna cut some pieces of rag so Avery can help me with this project. And we're gonna take a little piece of this. I am no stain expert, just to take that as you will, folks who are watching DIY Nate. Um, but we're gonna kinda just try to touch up the sides a little so it's not so obviously raw wood here. Um, using this Poly Shades uh, Bombay Mahogany Satin to shake it up. Again, it's been around for a long, long, long time. You can tell by the look on the outside um, but i'm pretty sure stain is better than paint from that perspective doesn't tend to, to harden on you as nearly as much so i'm gonna take a look on the inside and you can see right here if you take a look in there got some decent stain and in reality all we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little bit of dab it in there try to get our fingers stained because i'm sure this stuff doesn't come out of clothes or anything like that take a very light stain a little bit on our cloth here, a little bit more. We're gonna come down, I'm just gonna smear it on the edge here. You can see, that's a pretty nice match. We're gonna have to use quite a bit of it because that raw wood's gonna you know, take up, absorb a lot of that stain. So you can kind of see us. And then you wanna be careful you don't put too much stain in one area and not enough on the other, at least from what I understand about staining stuff. But you gotta see how it's starting to soak it in coming in nicely there that's gonna make the edges look a lot better and especially with that nice bevel that we put on it, it kind of gives it an even cleaner look so nice little project here I have a nice bathroom shelf so I can avoid having my wife yell at me every weekend for not having a clean thing she doesn't actually yell at me I just kind of picture her uh, picture her not being happy about the way I keep the side of my sink okay so you can kind of see here we got a pretty good thing going. You can kind of see how our stain is bleeding in here. And again, I'm not spending a ton of time on this project. As you all know, I'm kind of a get her done type. But you can see how good that turned out right there. Um, it matches nicely and we're gonna flip it around. I did not use any science to picking the stain. It just happened to work well. And on this round, I'm gonna let Avery do it. Being somewhere in this neighborhood, there's a stud. It seems like it's telling me there it is, but I don't really trust it. So, um, and if I set this here, it might need to be a little higher. I set it about right here. Let's see if I can a little bit more. That would be about where I want this shelf. So, we're going to try and take a measure here and see if we hit any, hit any gold with our drill. Um, so, I'm going to find a very small, very thin drill bit. I'm going to pop a hole through there. And we're going to see if we get into a stun, or if I go straight, if I go straight through, we might try again. Or we may just decide to use some drywall anchors. We really don't want to use drywall anchors if I can help it, because they're much more likely to pull out. Stud so gives you a lot of support, and it's just easier. So uh, that's kind of what we're going for here. Easy is the name of the game for this job. If we can get it, um, if we hit the stud, if I hit one stud, I'll use drywall anchors on the other side, because... The odds are with the strange shape that I'm using, I'm not going to be able to spread it uh, to the you know, two brackets at the 16 inch mark. It's probably not going to work very well. So we're going to take a shot right here. Look for the best. Fingers crossed. Let's we'll see what we hit. All right, we're going to find pay dirt or no. Yes, we did. Great. So we got one stud. That's great. That's going to make this a lot easier on one side anyway. And then this is why I like the drywall laser level. 
Uh, let me call, it's going to tell me where to put my bracket. Um, I shouldn't shoot myself in the eyes with laser level. But if I put this guy in just a shade above, we'll get that guy. Now I'll know. Okay. I've got about a 26 and a half, 27 inch shelf. So I need about 20, let's say, somewhere in 20, 20 inches off of that. And now we're cutting in about three inches off the sides if I run it all the way up to the end. Three and a half inches off gets me, gets me to 23 inches on one side. So that's going to take me down to about 19 and a half from this point. So I need to be about right here. Is that where I'm going next one? So I'm put a mark here at the 19 and a half mark. And that's going to be my second spot that I'm going to shoot for. This one I probably will have to use a drywall anchor unless just somehow magically I got lucky. I think that's not going to happen. So we're going to go ahead and drill for this since we've got the laser on one point. And we'll just go straight there to work. Make sure there's nothing on just right there above or on the other side. This one I know I'm going to need a drywall anchor, so I'm building the plan for that right here. And what we can picture is the shelf is now going to look like this. We're going to run it up all the way against the side. Bracket's going to be right there. We're going to have a bracket about three and a half inches off the inside. And we're going to run up as close as we can to the side there um, to, to the mirror. So that's pretty, pretty straightforward there. The uh, brackets actually have some interesting holes too. I've got a hanger hole here so I can hang it. And then I've got a hole that can drill into the front side. So, for the most part, for starters, we'll just uh, we'll just punch a hole with a slightly bigger bit. I'm gonna make sure these drywall anchors are ready to go. I've got a handful of different options. Most of them are kind of reused drywall anchors, so they're a little bit a little bit uglier than I would normally like. Uh, but I think these guys are gonna do the job. Little yellow anchors, not a huge screw, um, but uh, you don't need a huge anchor for what we're doing here. This project should be fine. All right, so now that we know what we're working with here, we've got a hole that we need to make bigger. We're gonna use some of these little, uh, very small anchors. Um, they're not huge, but that's what I've got on my hand. So I'm gonna make a hole big enough to pop those in. So bore it out a little bit just to make sure we got room. And you can see what I'm gonna do with this double anchor here. I'm gonna pop this guy in. It fits nice and neat right there. So we're good to go. Usually it fits, you like to have it fit a little uh, a little tighter than that. So that might have been a little bit over overshot on the size of the drill bit. But we're gonna hang this guy here. For the next one, we're gonna pop a screw in here as well. So we're gonna start with get my ratchet screwdriver ready, snap on. Thank you very much. One of my favorite tools. I've mentioned on many of my videos. Videos. My dad sold snap on for many years, and I love this tool. Right, the screwdriver, maybe the most handy tool in God's creation. So, um, I have a lot of favorite tools, but that's that one below. So we know that fits pretty nicely there. Then we're going to take a quick mark here, make sure that's going to sit nicely. Take a quick mark here, give us a spot to drill. to go ahead and get your setting ready to roll. So we're gonna go ahead and put our other drill the screw in the other side and make sure the shelf is gonna be nice and level. You wanna get you wanna make sure you don't get too far before you uh, you check your level setting and level it out. I'll put the rest of the stuff in here once I've got that all the way in. That again, give me some extra support so I don't have to worry about that shelf going down on me in the future. 
And our other bracket, once they spray painted, should give us everything we need here. Just wind this guy first, make sure he's good to go. Looks nice. This guy right here. Hopefully, if all goes well, everything lines up nicely. When we put our shelf on it, it'll look really good. Finger cross. Hey, what do you think? Is it going to work? Is it not going to work? Test, check our level setting, make sure it's good to go. So we're just gonna bolt it down and be good with it. So that's pretty good. I'm liking that. I guess now we got a couple screws we need to pop in. the shelf I'm well underneath it my head might which will hurt if I catch it there but at least I'm much less likely to hit my head on it than I am hit my shoulder so now we got a couple spots we need to pop some screws in these are going to be a little challenging just now that I've already got the anchors in there uh, yeah. give myself some high levels here so I can just pretty easily pop these in it up against the side. Make sure I got enough room here. And then over here. So we're good to go. We're gonna come back with uh, looking through my scraps of screws to make sure I can find a good starter screw to put in here. level there good to go not too bad so now I have a great place to put some other stuff get some stuff out of my way a little mouthwash up here various other stuff nice and out of reach all right so after all that we now have a uh, shelf that looks like it'll clean up my, my uh, counter space so um, we're also pretty tight up against here, so not too worried about catching it. And you can also see how that bevel turned out. Pretty nice on the edge here versus having raw wood 
exposed. I really like how this came out. Um, it actually is a pretty nice compliment to the shelf on the other side that my wife has that was store-bought. So hope you enjoyed it. If this if you found this helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, uh, or buy stuff off Amazon.com through my hyperlinks uh, to help support the cause. Thanks very much for watching. Have a great day. Uh, this has been a DIY Nate production along with the help of Avery Animal. Thanks.